Why do you want to pursue a career in politics? Well, I started out as a political reporter in the Canberra Press Gallery 30 years ago, long before you were born. <laughs> and one of the things that I experienced there was that there are some really great politicians and there are some people who maybe aren't there for the right reasons. But it's a tough life. And I used to sit up in the press gallery looking down on the politicians. And if someone had said to me then, hey, you're going to want to do that, I probably would have laughed at them. Being a journalist, it might not have just been a laugh. I probably would have thrown in a few choice words as well mm -hmm. you know, and so it isn't something I'd ever planned to do but you know as you get older and I'm 50 now you recognize that the way you really bring about change is by changing government policies that might feel like the policy happens a long way away but in fact those decisions that they make in Canberra in Parliament House flow through and have an impact on everyone's lives so I think if you really want to step up and and help a community change that's the way to do it What are your greatest strengths for this job? I think I love talking to people. But more than that, I love hearing their stories. Uh, it's a bit about why I became a journalist. You know, I love understanding issues and finding out why something's working or why it's not. Uh, the best thing about doing this job is you get to listen to what people have to say. And we're such a diverse community here. You know, we've got people who live in really rural areas. We've got people who live on the edge of World Heritage National Park. We've got people who live in suburban urban environments, you know, cheek by jowl with their neighbours. So you've got different people with different experiences. And I don't think you could want to be a politician unless you really liked hearing what they had to say. I also think I'm a pretty good problem solver. You know, I'm a mum, but I've been in business for 20 years. You have to be able to get up every day, you know, make, make things happen. You can't sit back and wait for something to happen when you're in business for yourself. So I think that sense of drive and, and passion for a whole range range of issues is what makes me a really good candidate. So why have you chosen to work with the Labor Party? I didn't join the Labor Party until I was in my mid-30s. So I'd had a long time to think of the parties and what they stood for and what they represented. For me, the Labor Party is about equity. It's about the fact that no matter what suburb you're in, doesn't matter what your postcode is, you deserve the same high quality education as some other kid in another postcode. And that applies to transport, that applies to health services. Right now, that applies to the national broadband network. Labor is all about making sure that every single family, whether they're rich, whether they're poor, gets the same high quality, high speed internet. You know, in future times, the NBN is going to be as essential a service as electricity and water. Mm -hmm. Now, we would never have said you can only have water if you can afford it. You can only have electricity if you can afford it in terms of putting the lines into your house. So for me, that's symbolic of what Labor is. It's about a fair go for everybody, not just the haves having more and the have-nots having less. Yeah. So what would, you, what would you consider to be your most significant accomplishment? Well, let's be really frank about this. I ran last election and I lost. Yep. And even though I was the loser last election, this community has still had millions and millions of dollars of infrastructure built that were my election promises in 2010. That's why the Windsor Wolves have a fabulous new grandstand almost completed. Yep. Two and a half million dollars, that was my election promise. And when I lost, the Labor government said, that's okay, we budgeted for every one of those things, so we're going to deliver it to that community, even though they didn't vote for Susan. Yep. Same with the North Richmond Bridge, we committed $2 million to do a study so that mums and dads don't have to sit in traffic. Well, and the young people who are driving, I bet you guys all know that if you're going to head across to North Richmond yeah. from Richmond, you don't want to do it after four o'clock on a yeah, Friday. Exactly. So, you know, that's the sort of thing. We still did that study and, and so we've now got $18 million to go towards making improvements to that bridge. So I've already achieved things being a loser, think mm -hmm. how much more I could do if I actually won. Good point. What will be the most difficult part of this job and how will you deal with it? The most difficult part will be, um, will be balancing politics and family, I think. Um, you know, I've got a 12 year old child, he still needs his mother around, so it's, it's going to be really difficult to, to be in Canberra and still be needed here. Um, and look, I know 
politicians actually don't work in Canberra for, for quite that long. Uh, they have, still have lots of time. And that's time that you're supposed to spend in your electorate, getting to know the issues of, of the people. And I think that's one of the other big balancing acts of the job too, is to do your job in Parliament um, and to also do your job in your electorate. Why do you think you're the best person for the job? Look, I think it's more than just a personal thing um, as well. It's about a party too. But I guess both the Greens and I um, are fighters, not in a negative sense, but from a, from a, a point of view of, of taking what we believe is um, the best thing for the people that we represent. And that's our job, uh, is to represent the, the people who vote us in uh, and even the people who don't vote us in and taking their concerns to Parliament and really fighting for the best outcomes for the people. The Greens have got a long history of that and I do too, locally, and I quite enjoy a good stout. Yeah. <laughs> um, why do you want to pursue a career in